Hey YouTube, in today's video I'm going to teach you how to carve some spooky stairs for your Halloween village or your Christmas village or any kind of village as long as you want to have some old decrepit looking stone stairs this is the video for you. First up, I'm going to show you how to do this with a very sharp hobby knife. you got to make sure that this knife is super sharp. You should probably use a brand new blade when you're just starting out. This you can see here the blade's cutting really smoothly through the foam, but if you use a dull blade, it's going to catch and tear the foam instead of slicing right through it. Um, so here I've kind of drawn out the shape of my stairs already, and I'm just kind of carving like a half an inch, maybe less uh, deep in there along the sides in the back, and then carving where I think my first stair should go kind of covering all the way to the back here um, and then I'm gonna break that piece off and now just repeat the same technique to make the rest of your stairs carve the stairs. I'm going to start using my knife and actually my fingers too to uh, break up the foam a little bit. As you can see it's kind of we have sharp edges there. And it doesn't really happen in nature so you want to go in with your knife and carve out some chunks, make some gouges, bevel the edges and you know in general just kind of make it look old, aged, and broken. And, you know, use your imagination. There's no right or wrong way to do this. It's just, you know, whatever looks good for you. This is my favorite part, uh, I think, of making these stairs. It's giving it all this life and detail. Now is use some rocks that I just pulled out of my garden um, and start using the rocks, press them into the foam to give it a uh, texture and kind of blunt the edges even more, um, and roll around, make it look like stone. And this is a sharp edge rock that I found that I like to use to try to make cracks and crevices and you know give it even more life and detail. go that's the knife technique now we're moving on to the hot wire tool technique this is a freehand router from hot wire foam factory I've bent it into this square end here uh, you can bend it into any shape really but this is what I like to use for stairs because I know somebody's gonna ask this yes I am ventilating my workshop as I do this I got a fan set up that's blowing out to my bulkhead uh, you always want to use proper precautions when working with hot wire tools. And what I do is kind of let the tool, place the tool where you want to make the stair and then just let it slowly sink into the foam about a half an inch deep or so and then just pull it out slow. You don't want to pull too fast because it kind of misshapes the wire. Um, but, you know, just kind of make each stair like this. Keep going until you have the stairs that you want. You can kind of clean up the edges a little bit with the tool. Um, I also like to use it here. You can see me carving out some of the rocks and cliffs. I like to make little crevices and things like that. Give it, you know, like I said before, give it a lot of life and detail. Now that's about it for the hot wire tool. And now we're going back to the same thing that we did before. Uh, using fingers and the knife to break up the lines and give it even more life and detail. You could leave it like this, but I like to, you know, just make it look even older and more decrepit and broken down. I like to gouge out little pieces and make little cracks and crevices and, like I said before, bevel the edges. And just make it look like it's a hundred years old and it's been trampled on. And, rocks same technique as before there 
there you have it. There's the hot wire technique. And this is a stair that I carved earlier. What I'm going to do is glue these three stairs together to make a larger uh, stairway that I'll paint in the next video. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, then please give me a like. Uh, and if you want to see more videos like that in the future, then hit the subscribe button down there. Leave me some comments. Uh, let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. If there are any other techniques or other videos you want me to do in the future, please let me know that as well. And until next time, thank you for watching.